This is Grace Russell again, the dietitian from the Talbot Centre. Throughout the, this month, we've been looking at eating disorders. Um, in particular, how do we give ourselves self-compassion? So that's sort of been the theme as we're looking at how do we prevent eating disorders and help those and ourselves if we are in recovery. Uh, so I wanted to focus on self-compassion as I think it's really important um, and it influences a lot of how we um, treat ourselves and our bodies. Um, so a core part, I guess, of an eating disorder is um, those eating disorder voices, the critical voices, the shame voices, telling us that um, we're not enough, that you'll never get there, that you're not pretty enough. So a way to... Um, a way to combat this is using more of a kind voice, a self-compassionate voice. Uh, so ways to do this is really listening in. What, what am I feeling? What does my body need? So by asking us those two questions, it, it opens up ways that we can learn to listen to our body, trust it, and take care of it. So for example, if I'm feeling tired, Shame voice might say, I'm not allowed to be tired, there's too much to do, whereas a self-compassionate voice might say and encourage, why don't you lie on the couch for 10 minutes or why don't you have a rest? Um, another example could be eating a meal um, and feeling that voice of, I shouldn't finish all of this um, or I can't have this side dish with it, whereas a self-compassionate voice would be going in, listening to your body, what, what is it feeling, what does it want, is it hungry, is it full, and be, being able to meet those needs. Um, so there are a few of my tips on self-compassion. If you'd like to learn more about it, I did write a blog post um, for this month, which goes a little bit, bit more in depth. Um, but definitely have some time thinking through, even journaling is a really helpful exercise to be able to become more kind to ourselves and trust our body a little bit more, uh, which has huge impacts on the way we live our life and on the way we feel.